<clears throat> What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into um, Big Bang Danny. She had a couple things to get off her chest uh, this morning. All right, and let's read this long um, book she wrote on her Instagram. All right, so she said, one thing I hate is negativity, but let me just enlighten y'all of who the F I am. Uh, I clearly don't give a F about what the next person say because I literally be laughing at y'all for real, for real. Secondly, a uh, mf -er ain't never put their hands on me, and if they do, I guarantee you that we won't be going live. We'll both be in a sale together. I just want to put this out. No, without getting canceled, I'm going to just say. Some of us really don't play that, okay? Some do, some really do not. Not at all. Non-negotiable. If it ever happened, yeah, somebody up out of here, you going to sleep. You, uh, we both gonna be like, some of us don't really play like that. So I, I believe her when she, when she's saying what she's saying. <laughs> All right. Uh, thirdly, whatever the F we go through, it won't hit the media because I don't need validation or clout from the media. And I don't need a sad story to run up my views to get paid because I'm paid in real life without the media, which is something I disagree with. Corey is going to come straight to us, straight to us. How he say straight up, straight up. He going to come straight to us. You may not. He is. Okay. <laughs> um, fourth, according to my business says, itches been hating me my whole life. And I stood on that ish 10 toes down. I went from 1 million to 14 million plus and invested that ish. And none of my investments require media. I can't lose the contracts. I own the contracts. My mental health facilities require the government, not the media. As a tax service bureau with 32 tax offices, the government cut my checks, not the media. My fleet of trucks are on government contracts, so they pay me, not the media. My farm is paid by the government as well, not the media. And my two franchises, Smoothie King and the Peach Cobbler Factory, are paid through the companies, not the media. I make friends with government, not effing media. But your boyfriend do. You can give Corey 20 million right now. He's still going to do that internet shit. He's still going to be an internet itch. Okay. So I just want to put that out there. We, it ain't about you. That's the problem. We see that you a boss, you doing your bossly things and you know, got your bossly stuff going on, huh? He, he's going to be your problem. All right. Um, and the government ain't sitting on the media, waiting for the next story, we sitting at tables buying businesses and franchises. But your boyfriend is. All day. Um, so that's that on that. She also posted mine. Mine. Okay. So... She's letting it be known that um, she is in it to win it. That's her boo. whoop did he do Okay. Um, I just wanted to talk to y'all about that. I, I'm going I'm to say this. I don't think she realized what she's getting herself into when it comes to him. I do think that she will leave at the drop of a dime because she has nothing to lose. Uh, I, I do think that um, it could be serious now and unserious tomorrow um, because she's her own boss. She got her own money. She ain't really, she's not worried about him per se. So I think she'll be able to move on at any given moment. Um, and that's the difference between her and him. And that's all I really got to say about that. Uh, I have something else for y'all later to add on to this video. Let me see who posted the video today, man. Let's just get into voice or tea room right quick. Corey and Danny popped out for her grand opening. Oh, I keep saying headphones. Okay, so, you know, we asked. 
Corey and Danny popped out for her grand opening, revealing that they are indeed a couple. Hey, man, no, I'm blessed, bro. I'm gonna get ready for my girl. Uh, she got a grand opening today, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit lit, so, you know, we outside. Now, Danny recently made a lot of people upset when she reposts somebody's post that says, like she's not shitting on Carmen. Now, hold on, Danny. I know you with Corey, but you ain't gotta shit on Carmen. Carmen is a girl's girl, and her smoke is only for Corey only. Do not- I mean, cause what, 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 I don't know what she would be getting out of that. Create smoke where it's not needed. Now, that's first. Second, Danny said on one of her lives that she's friends with Carmen's sister slash manager so I'm shocked that she's even throwing shade at Carmen but she is with Corey now so I don't even think we should be surprised but y'all got comments down below let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that Queen Naja commented on Carmen's picture. She said, give another guy everything that belongs to you. And then Carmen like and comment. I'm like <laughs> Come on, Madison. Love their friendship. <laughs> Queen has always supported Carmen throughout the years. I hope they do one day come out with a song together. That would be super dope. But y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Chris Sales is so shady. Here's what he had to say. Corey done made Carmen, man, give up this fast. It's crazy. And then Corey want to be petty. He going to say some big dude. <coughs> Chris is making money on TikTok. Gotta be. He like the type. If I can't be with you, can't nobody be with you. Now the only thing making, is with me. Chris is him, making money on TikTok. He gotta be. My shorty love. I wanted her to go be happy. That's what I preach. I told her to go find somebody that looked like me and go be happy. I don't care. <laughs> I wanted her to be happy, but Corey don't want to see Carmen happy. Oh my god, this is crazy, <laughs> bro. It's like, I don't know. I'm out of it. I ain't being messy. Call me back. <laughs> what if we already married and we ain't tell nobody? Not this thing looking empty. <laughs> hey, you ain't have to do me like that. <laughs> hey, chill. I be can At least somebody married her. Hello. Oh. Uh, it's trending online that Olivia and Will may have broken up. Someone said that Olivia commented early this week after someone commented underneath her post telling her about Will's video with other women. And Olivia responded back to that person that her and Will will always be good friends. And then people started celebrating underneath her post to the point that she had to cut off her comments. Now here's what someone said on TikTok. The link to their TikTok is down below. Okay, so I made a video about Olivia and Will maybe a month back. Probably hasn't even been a month. But recently, I've been seeing people in my comments say that they broke up. So y'all know me, I had to go see. And Olivia didn't really get into the details of why they broke up, but she did say that, you know, no matter what, they're still gonna be there for each other, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, right? But on the flip side, I feel like she's been noticing that he's been changing in all the wrong ways. And then in my comment section, some of y'all were saying that she probably realized her worth, you know, after a while. You you said will change real bad and it's scary. Why you say that, friend? What do you mean by that? Um, I agree. I want to know why you think so, though. Um, what I can say is he be drunk all the time. <laughs> that nigga got to have him a drink all the time. And he be high all the time. He's never, it don't seem like, sober. Um, that's one thing I've noticed. Outside of that, you know, these niggas get some money, girl, and lose it. But I don't think they're going to come on the internet disrespecting each other, though. Oh, he still don't want to marry her. And then I was remembering it was a video way, way back. And they was playing Truth or Drink, right? Excuse me. He had asked her, like, one of the questions says, how do you feel about me not proposing to you and it's been three years? And she was like, honestly, I'll just take a drink because I don't want to speak on that. Ooh. He was like, okay, take a drink. Oh. It's like, men intentionally, if you let them, they will play in your face. And I'm really starting to realize with some men, it's like, they genuinely don't want to be with you. They genuinely enjoy the thought of being with you. I don't think men don't genuinely enjoy being with you. I think they don't want to be married, though. Like, they already with you. You uh. Because you're either so pretty or, you know, you got a lot going on for yourself. But genuinely, when it comes down to it, they don't want to be with you. And that's the reason why they won't marry you. They know they don't want to be with you. They just I want talks. to be with you so no one else can talk about it. Zanif revealed again. that she's now he dating Landon, Landacia's oh. ex-boyfriend, which a lot of people have some shady comments because Landon is older. Be messy. Y'all, these older men don't want older women. Get over it. She's legal. <laughs> I'm 
messy boots because your hoes is messy. Because a lot of y'all got too much to say in my DM. And that nigga's a boss. He a stupid boss, too. Good job, Nye. <laughs> And in the comments. Nye, Zunye, what up? Who cares? Does everybody count their exes that they ever had in their life? I don't. Do they be like stuck to them? Lindasia and Nye are not friends. Forever. I don't count my shit. I only count what you can prove. So for those that don't know, this is Sarati's sister. You know, Sarati, girl, they've been for them. Okay. Um, but anyway, she left the family a minute ago. She used to date, um, I forgot that dude's name. Zanaya, Zanaya is how you pronounce Nunye. Oh, I thought it was Nunye. Zanaya, is that right? Zanaya. I thought it was Nunye. I like Nunye better. But anyway, Zanaya, 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 Zoo. Nay, Zunie, 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 whatever. Um, she was dating. She was dating uh, Lil James, and now she's dating Lindasia's ex. Which Lindasia played with him for a little while. He played with her. Um, which is a boss nigga that owned a lot of clubs in Houston. And that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> you can only count what's happening. Lin Lindasia and Z Baby are not friends. Okay. What's going on now? What's going on now? Okay. What about? <laughs> what the? I'm just happy I'm down here. Thank you. As long as you have me. Thank you. All right, we're going to get off this. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Uh, I'm done with this video. It's not much to talk about with this because I don't really. I don't really care for this situation. <laughs> Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Bye.